also begin. I'm going to help Nessie increase her cow's milk yield. And to do this, I've invited Stephen Kanye from CKL Africa. Kanye has bought some feed supplements to help boost the cow's productivity. But he's noticed there are some challenges with the cow shed that need to be sorted out first. If cows are not comfortable and their feed is not protected from the rain, then any other attempts to boost productivity will be a waste of effort. You have two cows that you're milking? Yeah, this one and the other one. All right. Yeah. How much milk do you get? Uh, one milking, four, four. So eight. Eight liters, eight liters per liters, day. Yeah. The one which is in calf mm -hmm. has really gone down. All right. Why, why do you think the milk has gone down? When you look at the shed, you can see where she is having the feed, feed troughs. Yes. Mm. There's no roof. The feed is going to be rained on. Mm. You might get a fratoxin. Then when the feed gets bad, the mm. cows cannot feed. Yeah. So you're not going to get maximum production. So we need a roof here where we have the, the feed troughs. Mm -hmm. Then also you can see the floor where the cows are sleeping on. Huh? Yes. Mm. So it is not uh, leveled. It has holes. Yeah, that is why you can see the brown cow here, yeah. uh, she is muddy yeah. because she cannot be able to sleep on the sleeping area. We need to do a very good floor mm -hmm. and a very good sleeping area. Mm -hmm. And also, I've noted that uh, there are some woods that have been uh, eaten by termites. Is this area af affected by termites? Very much. They attack everything. They attack the poles. They even, uh, sometimes you find even on the stones, they are building there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they can even attack your houses? Yeah. Termites are very destructive. Mm -hmm. They can destroy a house in a very short time. Mm -hmm. And uh, doing a shed, uh, maybe after a short time, mm -hmm. it is going to eat to your profit, to your profit. Mm -hmm. So you need to get rid of the termites. Mm -hmm. And also they eat even maize stovers. So the best thing is, uh, prevent the termites and uh, eradicate them by using a termiticide. And the metro mm -hmm. uh, from CKL mm -hmm. will help you. You just mix metro with water, mm -hmm. then you spray all the wood mm -hmm. and it will be free of termites. Around even five years without okay. seeing termites. Mm -hmm. So you're going to save on your cost. Mm -hmm. And it is not only mm -hmm. for the cow shed, even okay. your house, even, the even house. The, where you, are, you have your house, mm -hmm. okay. you can still apply metro. To spray, mix 25 milliliters of metro with 20 liters of water. Each application will last for five years. Right. It is both That's preventative oh. and curative. Okay. Yes, and also you can mix this, then mm. you treat the termite holes. Mm. Is it used in, uh, in the field? This one is specifically... Can you use it for maybe treating maize, plants or...? No, metro is formulated for buildings. Okay. Ah, so... That being said, we move on to the next step. And uh, you said you, you, you wanted like your cows to give you more milk. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. For your consumption and also for selling. For selling. Uh, yeah. Because you want money. Yes. Agribusiness is good. Okay. So what does our farmer need to do to get maximum production, maximum yield from the cows? There are quite a number of factors that you are cons going to consider. Mm -hmm. Today I want to discuss about uh, feeding. I can talk about the feeding. Mm -hmm. I've seen that uh, Nessie, you are feeding on uh, green nepia. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not bad. Mm -hmm. if what you are supposed to do, you are supposed to consider consider a balanced feed. Mm. We have vitamins, okay. we have carbohydrates, we have proteins, mm. and we have minerals, mm -hmm. and the fifth one is mm. water. Mm. With that, mm. uh, for the energy, mm. uh, we are going to provide napier mm. and also uh, things like hay. Mm -hmm. And for proteins, mm. you are going to provide a dairy meal, mm -hmm. and on top you are going to supplement with the kupakula. Mm. Yeah, kupakura is a protein supplement mm -hmm. well formulated mm. to help your cows to build on the body, increasing in weight, mm -hmm. the growth rate, and also uh, increasing the density of the milk. It has uh, something we call uh, yeast metabolite, mm. which helps in digestion. For kupakula gold, give 200 grams for each cow in the morning and 200 grams in the evening. Alternatively, mix 5 kilograms Kupakula gold into 70 kilograms dairy meal. Increase the amount of Kupakula with the increase in milk production. You are going to get more money from mm. the cows. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so time we got to work. The eating area needs to have a roof to keep off the rain and stop aflatoxin contaminating the feed. Next, we are adding concrete to the floor. 
This helps to smooth it out and avoid any pools of mud or water that might encourage pests and diseases. And the sleeping area must be dry. Once it's cleaned and disinfected, wood shavings can be spread. It's important to keep the shade clean at all times. Wow! Great job, everyone!